Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer, the owner of EJ Flooring. Just want to do a quick walkthrough of uh, what we're doing here on this job. We'll take a look here. Uh, you can see a hairline crack there. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell uh, all the missing grout and how the grout is kind of coming out. Uh, I don't think that the backer board was thin setted properly. Uh, and I know it wasn't taped. We, we pulled up another room before. You can also barely see this hairline crack that runs along that edge. My estimation is that's gonna be on the edge of a piece of backer board. Uh, and so basically the reason I'm making this video is to talk about failed tile floors. A lot of tile floors that we see have failed, but because they're just sitting here, as long as the tiles themselves aren't cracking up a whole bunch, I know that there's some grout missing, there's a chipped tile over here, but most people uh, are somewhat happy just to stick with what they have. It's not costing them more money to leave the, the existing floor in place. Um, unlike a tiled shower, if a tiled shower leaks, we have to replace the shower because of all the damage a leaking shower will do to a home. And so we'll start pulling this up and then as we go, we'll probably make a couple more uh, videos uh, showing what we find. I just want to point out real quick while we tear this up, this is the finished edge of a piece of backer. You can see the crack straight in line with that piece of backer board. So definitely did not tape the seams on the backer. Definitely used way too small of a notch on the backer. And they did not use near enough fasteners. I think we've been pulling up about eight to 10 fasteners aboard. So all sorts of reasons why this floor could have failed. So we're tearing up this floor and I've got some pictures and other things. Uh, I want to be clear, I cannot isolate down one factor that caused it to fail. It could be the small notch trowel underneath. It could be the lack of fasteners. It could be not taking the seams. Reality is any one of those three things is enough to cause a failure. All three of them will certainly cause a failure. And just to kind of give you an idea of what we're dealing with here, I mean, this is how it's been coming up so far today. in just a couple of minutes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. Also, be sure to check out the next suggested video that's going to pop up as well. Thank you very much for watching.